Hello! Today we're going to be painting wild violets. I've toned my paper with um, a mixture of phthalo green, um, yellow ochre, white. I think that was about it. I think it was those th mostly those three colors just mixed together and then watered down and um, brushed on and um, then I let it dry completely. And then I have on my palette titanium white, cadmium yellow medium, um, magenta, ultramarine blue, phthalo green, and um, yellow ochre. And I am going to paint a couple different colors of, of the wild violets. They come in a different, couple different varieties. Um, and there's some darker purple ones, some white ones, some uh, kind of a periwinkle blue. So um, we're going to have a mixture. And I think that'll be really pretty. And they grow up on these lovely little delicate stems and um, then we'll have leaves at the bottom. So I think um, I'm going to kind of have a gathering of the blossoms up here in this upper half. And then we're going to have some stems that we'll paint afterwards and then some leaves at the bottom. So I think I'm going to start out with my, um, my lightest color. And I'm just going to pull in my big brush here because I think it'll be a good size for the the sort of shape of the lead or the shape of the um, petals. So I'm going to just do white and a little bit of ultramarine blue and that should make us a pretty sort of light slightly violet slightly violet blue color. So we're going to See, that's still a little on the light side, so I'm going to pull a bit more blue over. And these are pretty simple flowers, but they do have, um, I'm looking over at my desktop here, they do have some slight veining of darker sort of little patterns on them over the, um, the overall petal color. So I think that'll be interesting to explore. And they have a little bit of yellow in the center where the petals meet. So I think this is a great color to start with. This will be um, one of our lightest flower colors. I think I'm going to do some white ones as well, but this is next to, next to white, the lightest. Okay, so the flowers have two petals kind of making a little V at the top, and then there's two coming down and that are about that same size, or it's almost like a little X of petals, and then there's a middle, a third one on the bottom in the middle that is kind of sitting on top is a little bit smaller and kind of sitting on top of those other two. So let's let's see what how this turns out. <laughs> so we'll just go like this. This is a really nice shape and I think I want I think I want them a little bit bigger actually. So let me press just a little bit harder. And we want them to come to a, a, a tad of a point at the bottom where they connect in with all the other petals. There we go. Okay, so then I'm gonna do another one over here. And then we're gonna just have two here. So those are all just basically kind of the same size. And then we have our third one and I'm looking, there's a variety of, uh, of slight uh, differences of shape between the different colors that I have up on my um, desktop. But I think um, I'm just going to do one simple one in the middle. Some of them have like a little scallop in the center, but I really like this. And I actually just got a little bit of white in my brush and did a second stroke. And I think that's really pretty. So I want to try that. So I just got some white, if you can see it, and I'm starting at the tip and just kind of stroking it in. And see that really pretty streaking that happens? I, re I really like that, so let's try that. I just felt like it needed something to help this middle one stand out from the two side ones, and then it ended up looking really lovely. So I think we're just gonna maybe try that on the other ones. It's lovely. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do another one. So I think I'm gonna do a part partial one kinda showing um here let's think like maybe another one coming out from behind right there there and we'll just kind of have that be um just on its own a little 
hint of one and I'll add the white on there because I think that's so pretty. And then um, I think I'll do another one lower. I think I have enough. Well, you know what? I think I need a little bit more paint. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay. Let's do, I do want to have some room. I want to leave room for some stems. So I'm going to make it about at this level. We'll make it near the side. So I'm going to do this petal first. And they do have a little bit of a point on the end. So I think I need to um, push that a little bit here. I started pushing down a little too soon. And then that made it really wide. It takes some practice to kind of figure out how to control your brush to get that shape that you're looking for. Okay, and I'm going to come back with my white, I think, and do that again. I think the streak maybe went a little far uh, on this one, so I might come back and kind of take it down a notch just because they all gather right in the middle there and this petal doesn't really extend that far. There we go. That's fine. There's a little um, a little kind of in, um, dip in the middle where all the petals come together and then there is sort of a whitish or yellowish um, change of color at the very tip of all the petals. Mm, let's do one. Let, let's actually go to white. I think it'd be nice to do like one or two white ones and then we'll fill in with dark because I love the dark ones and I want to make sure we have plenty of those because they're kind of the classic violet color. Okay, so I'm going to just take some white. Let's make sure we have plenty down here and kind of work it in. to imagine where it would look nice. Um, I think I'll do it up here. There we go. And then because this is white, um, we're going to, we don't have any lighter color to add sort of um, highlights on it, but we're going to add in um, some little amounts of like a darker periwinkle blue or purple, kind of where they all come towards the center and then the yellows in the middle. So that will happen on the white one. Um, you know what? I'm going to wait. I don't think I want to do any more white. I want to put in as many dark ones as I think look good. And then maybe we'll hint at another white one kind of showing up somewhere. Um, so I'm going to, actually, I don't need to rinse out my brush, but um, I'm going to just leave it at that for now. Um, so let's just come over here and I'm going to make, actually, I will rinse because I want to make sure that my purple doesn't get too much white in it from the beginning. I can always add in white, but once you get it too light, then it's kind of hard to get it back to being as dark as you might want. So I think I'll start there. Okay, so I'm going to get some blue. And we'll do magenta. And I'm thinking there's definitely a ver varieties where they're more bluish and more or more pinkish, like the purple leans one way or another. So I'm going to lean more pinkish to begin with, and we'll see what happens with that. 
So now I'm going to need just a little bit of white. See, I'm just going to take a tiny bit and see how that looks. That actually is really pretty. I love how I love how the um, having so much magenta in the mixture makes it really a warm, a warm purple. So let's actually make. Um, I want to make more of that, so I'm just going to bring the rest of the magenta over and add a little bit more blue and probably a little bit more white. I'm just going to go ahead with that there. I think that's going to be so pretty. Um, let's see. I want some of them kind of overlapping other ones. So I'm just going to do one right, right here to kind of bridge the gap between those two. And if it overlaps a little bit over maybe this lower one, then I, that'll be fine. And then I think I'll hint, actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to just paint another full one or two over here. And that one's going to kind of overlap. So I'm going to pull a little white just to help us see that edge. And they're just going to be tucked close together there because they grow in these pretty little bunches so I want to just try to have that same feel. Okay I'm going to need to get out some more magenta and um, make up some more of this purple. I really like this, whoops, I really like this golden brand magenta because it's just so intense and um, it just, it really has, um, it's just really high, highly pigmented and so it um, makes really nice strong pinks and purples. Actually, I kind of like this. I just made something that's a little bit more on the red side, the red purple, and I think it's kind of fun to have that variety. So maybe I'll stroke it on just a little bit here and there for to tie those in. And then we'll um, paint a full, full one right here. And I think it'll just, I think I'll make it... Um, try to lean it just a little bit differently so it feels like we have a little bit of natural sort of movement um, so trying to get the V to angle that way just slightly off towards the left Grab just a little white to kind of help that front petal show up. There, I think that's really pretty. Um, I think I definitely want um, another one or two of this, and I keep needing to mix more because I, I guess they're using more paint than I think. So I'm gonna just grab probably not that much white is needed so let's go ahead and do this maybe a little bit more there we go okay let's think composition wise um so we've got an uneven i think i'll do two more of this purple because i want to have an odd number of them so we've got three 
and let's tuck in one maybe like right about here we're just going to sort of um, not have a one fully painted but kind of um, starting right there And then let's see, you know what? I think I'll just, I'll just do one right here. There. There, I think that looks nice. And you know what, as I'm looking, I feel like this, um, lighter blue one should be sitting on top of that one. It doesn't make as much sense to me to have this lower one behind for some reason. It looks like it really sh um, should be in front now that I've painted it. So we're, I'll come back and address that later. Um, let's think. I, I think I want a few more hints of the purple kind of showing... Um, maybe just like another little stroke here and there to kind of fill out the bunch so that it's not um, there. I kind of like that. And I think I'm going to hint at another like two white ones up in that corner. I think this is plenty plenty for the purple. So I think we're just going to leave it at that. Okay. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to rinse out my brush and I think we'll have like two, two, or, uh, two white sponged up there. And then we'll um, go ahead and do all of our details on the flowers. I'm going to grab the white and just bring it down here. Cause I like to just get it worked into my brush a little bit here. Okay, so I'm imagining, I think I'll do one right here and no, actually I think I'll do a full one here and then maybe tuck it in. I didn't want to mirror what's happening here exactly, like like a full one and then a part one again. Um, I think it'll look more natural if we maybe do it the opposite way, if we need to just do one full and then one part. So let's see, let's go ahead and do this one. Get our little middle petal. Okay, and I, I can tell I already need more white and we're gonna need it for the highlights. So we'll get some more out here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thicken up these strokes just a tad because I know the white, you can see this one's starting to dry and you're seeing some of the green come through. Um, and I don't mind that. Um, on some parts of the petals, but I don't want the full petals to be that see-through, so I'll kind of thicken them up a little bit. Okay, so then, yeah, I think, um, let's see, what is the best? I think I'll kind of go here. So that'll be the lower, the lower petal there. And then um, we'll kind of have another upper one there. There. And then I think we'll just hint at another little piece of that middle one coming down there. Then I think I'll just kind of do maybe a few little expressive marks just to kind of hint at some other flowers kind of filling in there. And I kind of kind of want to do kind of want to do a little something right there. There. 
I think that's great. And then we'll have some stems and we'll have some leaves. So I think that's pretty well filled out. Um, let's go ahead and fix up this guy because it needs um, that lighter uh, blue to come on back on top of the purple. I'm going to have to do that pretty gently because the purple is wet still. So I'm going to make a good amount of blue so I can kind of just gently lay it on top and not stroke down too hard. But we'll see what happens here. I'll kind of just try to follow the outline. There. There, I think that did that did fine. And now that I have this in my brush, I almost feel like it should, you know, kind of be hinted out at least in a place or two as well. There. Okay. So... For these little guys, let's do a darker blue now because I think they have pretty nice little highlights on them, um, at least starting out. Let's let's make a darker blue and um, I'm going to switch over now. Actually, I'm going to rinse out this brush and switch over to my small because this was great for the shape of the, the large shape of the petals, but I like to do more details with my smaller brush um, if, they're, if they need to be a little bit more precise because the big ones sometimes it's hard to get your stroke to land exactly where you want it okay i can tell i already am going to need some more blue i try to only put out a small amount of each color because acrylics dry the day is pretty warm here and um depending on your weather they can start kind of drying on the surface of the paint and kind of give it this um thick chunky lumpy texture if you try to scoop into it after it started to dry. So I'd rather put out small amounts of paint and then kind of work through. Actually I feel like I've got one of those little lumpy parts right there. I'd rather just sort of work through um, a small amount and then get out some more rather instead of um, you know having a bunch and then having it dry on me. Okay I think this is a nice pretty dark blue. This is going to be um, just sort of a shadow color to show that there's um, like they're going inwards and getting a little bit darker. So I'm going to see how that will work for me. And each petal, we're just going to kind of just kind of do a little like a three stroke kind of a thing, like one kind of in the middle and then some ones to the sides. And if it mixes a little bit, that's fine. Now I want the middle petal to be the one sitting on top and then these two tuck behind it. So I'm going to kind of just hint at those other ones having a tad bit of a shadow, but really this middle one is going to get the most attention. There. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one now. And they can be pretty short. You don't need to extend them quite that long because um, I think, well, I, I like kind of mixing it up, but um, they really only tuck into the center kind of at the last minute. So the shadow is really just kind of a small thing in the middle there. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to do a stroke of that back there just to kind of incorporate this shadow color. Um, like those are, those flowers hidden behind there are getting a little bit of it um, on them as well. Okay, um, let's see. I think I would like to use this color actually on these white ones. And since it's here and on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It um, It's more of kind of a, a patch um, there, and I, I think I might make it ever so slightly lighter. It's kind of like a patch of color where each of them come together and meet. So instead of like these little strokes, I think I'm going to do something um, maybe more just like a single kind of kind of oval. Let's try that. 
and I might actually need to do two strokes to get it to be a little bit like an oval shape. Mm, yeah, and I think I, I need them to come a little further down there. I feel like that actually is a little too dark for what I'm going for, so let me add some white. Now that it's on there, it's looking a little a, a little too contrasty. So I'm going to lighten my color up and I'll just stroke over that to kind of soften it a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do a little bit on these guys. just do this one. I'm trying to think. I don't think I really need to add it to any of those little bits because I'm seeing those as being more um, more like the tips, the outer tips, and this color is more towards the center. So we'll just leave those alone and we'll do that. Now I love how the white is mixing with it right there, kind of in the strokes. I'm just going to grab some white on my brush and try to do, get a similar look for these. So I'm just going to stroke over them a little bit and try to get the white to mix a tad because I love that kind of softer texture to them. There we go. Maybe I'll do a little bit like right there just for fun. There. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do um, some lighter areas on these are nice dark purple ones. I think I want my light to go definitely towards pink. So we're gonna just add some white to this color here and we're gonna see how it looks. Yeah, since there was way more magenta in the mixture, it is lightening up really nicely. But I don't want it, that's, Still a little too, I think that's a little too light. So I'm going to just add plain magenta. Ooh, that'll look nice. Let's go with that. So I'll add just a little bit more to kind of get some more of this paint a little darker. And instead of coming from the inner parts of the flowers, we're just going to add the highlight to the outer parts. So then it'll kind of isolate that, um, the dark a little bit more towards the center. And you can just kind of come around. Mm, let's see. Okay, and I want this one to kind of sit on top is definitely in there and then these ones can kind of whoops I guess I added it to the wrong end on that one but I kind of like how that looks so we're just gonna leave it and we're gonna go with it there we go I like how that looks it kind of gives it a nice kind of crinkly sort of a look where the petals are having little folds in them That one's kind of hidden. I'll just sort of do a little bit on the middle one there and then leave it. I think I'll just leave those strokes darker and we'll do it a little bit to this one. There we go. Okay, last one here. 
And then we'll kind of evaluate and just see, um, you know, if uh, any of them look like they need an, a little like more light or more dark on them. And then um, we'll go on to the centers. Okay, this one is actually kind of missing its middle petal. So I'm just going to kind of draw a little edge there to hint at that. Maybe a little stroke of something there would be nice. Yeah, kind of over there. That's kind of fun. Okay. Um, I feel like these are looking like they need a little bit more attention. So let's see if we can add, I feel like maybe just a little bit of a lighter right at the tips, like doing a little bit like what we were doing on the, with the pink there. I gotta just get it um, a light enough shade of this blue to show up as being lighter. Let's try it out and see. Mm, not quite. Maybe it needs to just mostly be white. There. I don't want to cover up all the streaks. The streaking was really pretty, so I'm going to try to preserve that in areas that I think it looks really pretty already. I really like that one, so I'm just going to leave it. There, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to bring a little bit more white to help thicken up a part or two of this one up at the top. It's starting to dry a little bit thin. So I'm just gonna stroke some more white on top and that'll almost, um, that'll just brighten it up, kind of almost like act like a highlight. Okay, I think I'll leave that one. So now I think I'm going to add for the very for the very center of these darkest ones, I wanted to have something more blue on them. And I think this is the time has come. We're going to add those little veins now. And I think doing it in a dark blue, like almost a pure, just straight out of the tube blue would be really cool. I'm not sure if that will show up. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white to it just to kind of lighten it a tad so that it'll the color will show more and so um for the veins i'm gonna keep them pretty simple i'm just i think i'm just gonna do a couple little dash streaky things they're pretty complex and thin and like delicate little spidery veins but i'm gonna just um make them pretty pretty simple since our, our painting is much more um, expressive and ab more abstracted almost. Okay, so just like that, I'm just gonna do a couple little ones coming towards the middle. And then I'm gonna do them on this bottom one. Mm, and these lower ones can have like one or two kind of showing. There, I think that's perfect. So we'll go ahead and um, do this on all the purples and this might actually be an almost good color. I feel like the other ones are gonna need something with more of the, um, something more towards purple than just plain blue. Since these are so just blue and white, it would be nice to move sort of a warmer color into them. So we're going to just stick with plain blue on these and then do more purple for those. Okay, oops, I think I want to do a few on this one. 
think I'll just leave that little stroke alone. Whoops, I don't really like how that looks. <laughs> Let's just do a little pink back over it. Okay, so now we're going to bring probably this blue up into this dark purple. Let's see if that's still wet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Might need to bring some more magenta into it. I think I'm going to use this dark purple for the veins on the rest of our flowers. So we're going to just um, do that same sort of mark making and um, just try to help them be pretty, pretty delicate. Just a couple little streaks. And it can definitely go down, um, you know, off of that dark shadow color into the light um, so that it can show up a little bit more. Because the veins definitely can do extend into the lighter portions of the flower. There, I really like how this dark on the light looks. It's a really pretty contrast. Okay, and then we'll move on to the white and we'll just do that exact same thing. And the white, I can tell it's gonna start streaking into my dark. So I just wanna make sure that um, I need to sort of wipe it off a little bit to the side so that the dark stays pretty dark. We can do that. A little mixing is totally fine, but I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna lose my nice deep dark color. These ones seem a little, maybe a little drier. Let's see. Oh, no, still mixing a bit. I think this is color is getting a little bit on the dry side, so I'm going to add just a tad bit of water, then it'll help flow off. There we go. There, I think we've got them all. And I just had an idea. I think it would be fun to add just a hint of blue onto the, a, a lighter blue, like this kind of medium blue on to the purple ones, um, because as they sort of shine in the light, they can have more of a bluish cast. I think that would be really pretty. So I'm just going to do like right along the edge and here and there, and not like all over each one, but here and there, I think having just a hint of this would be really kind of a neat touch. And then it gives it almost that two, like a two-toned effect, like you're getting um, the sense that it's like light. It's like warm and cool at the same time. And just kind of like an unexpected little pop of color. I really like that. It's really fun.
There. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so now we're going to do the centers. And we have some yellow. Just sort of radiating out. Just real small. A small little patch. So we're going to take take our yellow and mix some white in it. It's a very soft, not too intense yellow. So I think we've got just a little bit of white left. Let's see if that's enough. Mm, not really. I'm going to bring some, just a little bit more white out onto the palette. And um, I think I'm going to add a bit of yellow ochre. That'll make it less of like a pastel yellow and more of a cream, which I think will be pretty. So let's grab just a little yellow ochre and it'll just give it a bit of a creamier kind of a tone. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is just gonna be like a single small little stroke just going bloop up into each of the three major petals. The um, the other two don't have it as much. They might have a tad bit, but I think I'm just going to focus on these middle ones. So we're just going to do just a little something. And they all just meet right in the middle there. Yeah, I'm just looking at my reference photos to make sure. And I guess they could have um, a couple little smaller ones on that, on that lower petal. I think that's nice. You could even do like a series, almost like that better, like a series of small strokes, kind of fanning out. It helps it, I think, feel a little softer than a single bigger stroke. I'm gonna give that a try. There. I love this warmer tone that it's adding to the painting because um, it's still very, even with the pink, it was still hanging out in a much cooler sort of color, color spectrum. So having the yellow, just adding this fun little splash of warmth to the piece is really nice. And then we're also going to have some warmth in the greens, I think, for the, um, for the stems and foliage. So that'll, that'll also add, oops, I almost forgot this little guy back in the corner here. All right, and this one will need it. Let's see if there's any other pieces. Um, that looks good. Great. Okay, that is it for the flowers. So now we're gonna go on to um, just do our leaves and stems. So this is kind of, this green is kind of hanging out in a, the medium range. So we're gonna have to go lighter and darker than it to get our, our stems and leaves to really stand out. So I think I'm gonna start with a darker and then Whoops, no, I don't need white. I'm gonna start with this dark green and then just add some yellow ochre to it. That's kind of just a basic, warm, sort of natural green. And the more ochre you put into it, the more sort of brownish the green gets, which is nice. Helps it feel pretty earthy. 
that's kind of close, but I know it'll dry quite a bit darker. So we're going to go with that. And I'm going to add some water because we're going to streak down some little stems. And I want those to flow off my brush a little bit more easily than this heavy, heavy body paint. Okay, so we're going to pick a couple flowers that we're for sure gonna see a stem come from. So this one for sure. And this one, and probably that one. So we're gonna have, and they can all kind of lean and look a little bit more natural than just a super dead center sort of a look. So we'll have that one come down and this one will have one. Okay, so those are the ones that were like kind of clearly going to some specific flowers. Now I'm just going to put in a bunch of hints of stems that um, are just sort of going up to the bunch. And some of them can be, um, you know, little partial ones. Some can be thicker, thinner, close, close to each other, far away. There. And I'm just trying to balance it looking um, aesthetically pleasing as well as sort of making sense that there's a bunch of stems there. So I don't want to overdo it. I kind of like that that look right there that we've got. And um, there's going to be leaves growing um, up in the bunch a little bit, but they generally kind of clump down at the bottom. So I'm just going to hint at some pretty little leaf shapes. And they're generally sort of this oval, this oval shape, but some of them can be more rounded um, in some of the photo references I saw. So maybe we'll add in a more kind of big round one. And I kind of li like leaving those where you're seeing the base of the leaf right there. So we'll do that and then we'll kind of hint at some little bits kind of growing. Maybe we'll even have like one sort of showing there. And then some smaller ones. And then I think I'll just add a few strokes kind of just building up and looking a little bit more um, thick there. I think I'll make this one more like an actual leaf shape. there. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to pack the space too full because I love the washi backgrounds um, and I want to be able to see that as a, as a part of the design. So I think we'll just leave it there and then we'll go ahead and do our um, ochre and we'll pull a little bit of yellow over and we'll just lighten up and get a much warmer, see how much warmer that is, with just a little bit of the green. And this will kind of correspond to the center color, like having something much more yellowy in the piece. So I'm just going to use this and sort of accent the petals. And I'm going to just do, a, you know, small amounts on some, more on others, just sort of um, whatever I feel like here. There, and I just like to sprinkle it around till it feels kind of balanced. I don't want to overdo it so that it doesn't um, get too chaotic um, or take over the base green color, but I think that's nice and that really allows the flowers to kind of shine and be center stage. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. That's really lovely. Okay. I think that is the end. I think we've really kind of filled it out nicely and I'm happy with how it's looking. So thank you so much for following along and um, for painting along with me if you painted. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Bye for now.